so we now have a drawing. Maybe I should draw another Kirby, actually. Hmm, wait a second. Let me draw another one. I would say that that's a good enough sketch really. So this is where I would normally ink everything. So let's find my ink pen there it is. So the idea is is to just get the general line down. Don't worry if it's too wobbly. If you make a mistake, there may be ways around it. The main keyword here is consistency. So the stars are drawn. Now we're going to actually go over it again. I might actually take this moment to rub out the pencil lines while we're here. What we're doing in this stage here, go over the lines again. If you feel like you have to rotate the sketchbook, then do do that. It helps, at least for me anyway. <laughs> Sometimes it can also actually stop you from looking at it as like a subject, as like what it is instead of it. Instead, you just start seeing it as a shape and that you have to follow the lines. Hopefully that kind of gives like a an idea of how I would do things. So let's get the markers out. We got pale pink. Actually, no, we don't do the markers first. That's that's the beauty of this pencil color pencil method I have. I'm gonna try using this color. I'm not sure if it'll be dark enough, so I'm gonna give it a go. Effectively, what I'm gonna do is use this polychromos color pencil to shade in his face. Yeah, I think that'd be um, dark enough. So what I'm trying to do here is just add some shading. Start dark and then work your way to light. It's a good way of learning how to shade with a pencil overall. Because it doesn't just apply to colour pencils specifically. It also applies for standard pencil too. As long as your pencil can actually shade and it's soft enough to shade. Question is, which colour to start colouring with? I guess we'll start with his face. 
So let's get the pale pink out and see what happens. I might just rub out a bit of this because the great thing about polypremise colour pencils is that you can rub out the pencil, the colour pencil. Now I wouldn't be too hard on this while there's marker pen on the paper because that could maybe do something to the marker pen if you're not careful. But yeah, I just felt like that was a bit too harsh. I'm going to jump right in with the... what colour is this? Ah, oh, a cup. So I'd get my white gel pen out. Again, this is a white uni ball white gel pen. I'll just start adding highlights very carefully though because it could get a little bit splodgy. This is where we can kind of finish it off, finish it off with a um, the 0 0.1 pen. Maybe smooth things out a little bit. Oh no. Now you could end up doing what I just done there, which again, you can go over with white gel pen, but you could be in a continuous loop of editing things. <laughs> I'm going over the white gel pen, basically undoing the mistake I made and also it kind of gives the gel pen a bit of a tapered line too so there's that There we go. Okay, it's fine. It's all good. It's done. Now, if I really want to make it a bit more vibrant than this, which, to be honest, it's alright. Um, I could kind of go over with the blue. I don't know what it is about the, the blue here, but I just feel like it's a bit lacking. I could try and use this. Um, blue again and just basically go over the areas again be very careful not to touch the um the white gel pen generally speaking not much would happen but you don't want to scrape off what you just done <laughs> so you can go over it again and just sort of layer on top
So there you go. This is the final result of me using colour pencil, marker pens and black ink for the line art. Yeah, it's alright. Kind of works. I'm thinking that maybe what I can do this time, maybe, let's see how it goes. If we get maybe this colour here, this is like a... it's a magenta, wow. This does not look like magenta to me. Uh, so I was thinking maybe I can just add some little blush lines there. I think that kind of works. So we've finally done this one. We now have this one to do, which thankfully you can kind of still see it now. Um, so again, we're just going to have to go through the similar process, only this time I'm going to use my biro pen.